Hey students, in this video I want to go over suppressing and unsuppressing of features. If you're not familiar with the concept, suppressing is simply how we turn features on and off. Let's do an example. On the screen in front of you I have a block with a center hole and a circular pattern of features. If I want to turn off the pattern, I can come over to circular pattern, I'll right click and come up here to suppress. All that did was turn off the pattern. It, it still exists, which is why it's grayed out, but it's just inactivated. If I want to turn off the quarter inch hole, I can suppress that as well. And so on. One thing I want to caution you against is never, ever, ever use suppressing to control the geometry of a part. So to give you an example, let's say that you had two carburetors for two different engines. One might have uh, a pressure port on it, the other doesn't. So when you're in business, never ever try to take shortcuts and submit a part that has the pressure port suppressed in one but not the other. That's just not how you do it. It violates a condition called form, fit, and function, which decides whether something should have a new part number. Okay. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves with the course, but suffice it to say, whenever you hand in anything or submit anything for document control, always make sure all of your features are unsuppressed. Thank you for watching.